So, just another quick video about some improvements that's been done to the Serato integration in the latest version of Virtual DJ, and that is built 6747 at the time of this recording. So, as you probably know, if you have Serato installed on the same laptop, then under local music, you'll have crates. And crates are really the Serato crates. So, as you can see in here, if I go into here, I, I see I have one crate, it's called RKC, and it has 10 tracks in it. Now, if I open Serato, which is going to take a while, which is Rato, then uh, that'll come up and it'll also show that I have the same crates, which is at one crate called RKC, it takes a little while, and within that crate, there should be the same 10 tracks. So let's see if that's true. Here's Rato, here's the RKC, and I have the same 10 tracks. Now, if I close Rato again, the new part is that now you can edit the Serato creates directly in virtual DJ. So if I, for instance, I have a, 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 a someone called Bogart Honey, and I have a, like a, two tracks here, so I want those in the RKC crate as well, just to drag them over there. Now we can see, of course, they're here in virtual DJ. If I then close down virtual DJ, and then open Serato again, Again, it takes a little while. Then we should see that these two new tracks have are also in the crate inside Serato. So meaning that we can edit it in both places and it'll work in both places. So we're going to RKC, which now has 12, uh, 12 tracks in it. Not very really ordered, but they're here. And the new ones are the two ones labeled bucket. Um, so that was one change. Another change is regarding these things, the smart crates in virtual, D no, sorry, in Serato. So I can build a smart crate here saying add rule. Say, well, I just want the, the songs that has, that contains the letter A in it, like that. So save that and I can rename it. So send songs with A. Like that, and then of course if I click it, I get all the tracks that has said letter A in it. That's not a lot of tracks because this is a very tiny test database, so that's only maybe 50 tracks or something like that, which is what it's mentioning. Because now, when I close Serato again and go back to Virtual DJ, I can also see the smart crates here. So those are also visible in here, and they also work in Virtual DJ. As you, uh, but this will have lots and lots of tracks, because it doesn't list the Serato tracks, the tracks from the Serato uh, database that has A in it. It lists the one from Virtual DJ that has the letter A in it. So, uh, so it's really just the filter that it's remembering, and as you might be able to Make assumptions on by the color it's actually kind of a, a virtual dj filter folder in here that it has been created but you can still uh, click edit and then uh, you can see uh, that it's actually title contains a so that's been uh, translated one to one into a virtual dj uh, so it works inside virtual dj also but on virtual DJ's database you can actually change it in here so i can say well i'd actually just want the one that starts with an a and you see it instantly changes but that won't get stored we can't store these kind of ed, uh, changes uh, on the filter uh, folders here turning them into uh, to smart crates in uh, in, in Serato because Serato can't do all the stuff that virtual DJ can Serato does not have a uh, start with feature so it can't get translated into Serato so it simply won't get stored if I restart virtual DJ it'll go back to contains again if I do want to change it based on the uh, on the uh, smart crates in Serato then I need to export these things as you can see on this one it has a uh, a uh, copy to virtual folder that's the one uh, I'm talking about so copy to virtual folder so I can get um, this crate uh, exported if you will uh, copied to a virtual folder so I can keep it in in virtual DJ and do uh, with it whatever I please without changing it inside Serato if you click uh, the, uh, the smart crate here it doesn't have that function 
Uh, but it doesn't really matter because uh, it'll be in the, in the top one. So I can simply say, well, give me all these copy crates to virtual folders. So if I do that, you can see down here in the bottom, I will have a Serato section that actually has the RKC um, crate and the, uh, the smart crate that was sung with an A. But these are now virtual DJ virtual folders and virtual DJ filter folders. So now I can change them any way I want. And I can, for instance, go in here and say, I, I don't want most of this stuff, remove it, and it won't have changed anything up in the Serato crate because it was copied and it was actually now a real virtual DJ virtual folder and a real virtual DJ filter folder. So now I can do everything and I can uh, change it, I can store it and I can keep it because it's not really linked to Serato anymore. So that's just a, a quick go through of some of the new features that's been added to the Serato integration um, that actually makes going between the two products a little bit simpler uh, if that's what you want to do.